Well, cheers, Jake. Cheers, buddy. Nice to see you again. Nice to see and you too. You know what the key to success is? Consistency. So we're trying different formats. We're doing little two minute clips, five minute clips, 30 minute clips. And we're just looking at what people actually want to hear. We got Chug as the cameraman. We got Chug, our cameraman, which will probably bark up a storm and knock over the camera in no time. Stupid crap in the news. Topic one. Yeah. Topic two, our wives and our women. Topic three, food. Topic four, knives. Topic six, guns. Topic seven, shit that sucks. Today we will, we'll freestyle it, but we'll try to keep with that format and see where it goes. So this air conditioning feels nice. I know, I was gonna say, this, mm. is, this is beautiful. And it's quiet. I know. Yeah, I feel very intimate with I you, know. Jake. <laughs> God, that's good. And now it's gonna go dry for the month of July. Why? Because on 4th of July, I probably had 36 beers and I felt like crap for the whole week going to the gym. I'm like, man, I can't do that anymore. Here's, yeah. here's the vicious cycle starting all over again. First topic, stupid shit in the news. Tell us something your mom doesn't know. Oh. You know, I think it would be almost beneficial if everyone had to move to a town with 100 people. I think it would make a lot of people's perception the way they present themselves as well. Because a lot of people have that idea that, well, I could say what I want to this person because there's 30 million people here. I'll never see them again. Where when you're in a small town, you're going to run into that person again. Over and over. Yeah. So you better make it right really so quick. So you better kind of watch your P's and Q's on what you're saying there. That's right, America. Too many people think that they are on their high my horse and their shit doesn't stink. You know, we've all learned the golden rule when we were in little kids, kindergarten, first grade, yeah. they talked about it. Treat others the way you would like to be treated. Man, it is so hard for people to understand that. It is just unbelievable. Like I said, if it makes too much sense, we can't do it. I deal with it on a daily basis, driving home in traffic. Everyone's a real tough guy, <laughs> flipping you off and just cursing and all this. But all of a sudden you pull up next to him when you're in bumper to bumper and no one's moving, you roll your window down, look at him and he doesn't want to look anywhere near you. If everyone recorded them themselves and then like looked at themselves oh. in the video and like that was me they'd be ashamed of themselves oh, it'd be Sh just ashamed they just get put on local news <laughs> aka youtube yeah <laughs> or on like like billboards while you're driving look at this like, look at this dick. You know, you know what I mean? This is actually a fun news story. So down in San Diego, there was a beef truck with 41,000 pounds of beef. It crashed and caught on fire. Biggest barbecue ever right there. 41,000 pounds, man. Do they, at that point, do you just let it burn or do you just invite people? I wouldn't be surprised right? if people like, are out there. Where's the, you know? Yeah, like I'm going in with a pitchfork and I'm going to grab what I can. How long has this been going? Five minutes? Sweet, I'll take this. <laughs> they need a 40 foot barbecue yeah. sauce trailer right behind it. Oops. Seriously. That's roughly 5,000 cows. 5,000 5,500 cows. When you go and buy steaks for, let's just say you buy three steaks, maybe you're getting two pounds of meat there. 41,000 pounds, 80 to 90,000 steaks out of. That's LA Dodger Stadium. Right. Everyone gets a steak at LA Dodger Stadium. Yeah, exactly. Here you go. Here you go. Well, that's where I wonder if it's probably better to just let it burn at that point, right? They have to scrap all of it. Because like, I know like with that. on the dogs. I mean, can, you could feed it to dogs, pet well, food. What do you turn it into. I know like on the docks, they would rather the containers get lost at sea than all of them fall on the ship. Because if they get lost at sea, that's an insurance claim. Yep. If they all fall and get busted, now all of a sudden, well, who was wrong here, right? Yeah. So I wonder if it's kind of the same thing with that. Like just uh, just let it just let it go. So there's there's our one fun topic. Other stupid shit in the news. Uh, well, have you seen that Nevada has a protest against masks? Against? Against masks. It's about the mandate Date. It's about the government them. issuing a mandate that says you have to do this. And that's the that's the fight. So listen, masks, we've already discussed it. Do whatever the fuck you want. Smart idea, probably wear a mask. I get it for the other side that says, listen, no, no, no. Government, you're not going to tell me what to do and when to do it. I'm listening to your recommendation. That's fair. I can say a recommendation I, is fair. I, I get it. It's kind of like riding a motorcycle with a helmet. The helmet is not for you. It's because I got to come up and deal with you after you've gotten in a crash. So the mask isn't necessarily for you. It's for somebody else. What's the big deal? Put the damn thing on and let's get about our business. We're all on the same team, by the way. Exactly. If everyone forgot, we are Americans. We all work together. That's the way I look at it. And, uh, you know, back back to the what will actually save this planet and save our little country of working this together is an alien invasion. Yeah. We need a little Independence Day here. Like, I mean, hey, come together, people. 
So I get it. And I guarantee you, if the government said, listen, we recommend this versus trying to do it as a mandate. And the government, you know, you guys can actually bend to and realize that there's this whole thing and your job is to unify the people. Think about it that way too. And I'm pretty sure the anti-government folks and anti-mandate folks would say, listen, don't mandate it and I'll do as I please. But if it's a recommendation and it's, you know, you pitch it as, hey, this is the smart thing to do. Right. They're going to go, yeah, you know, that is a product thing to do. And hey, we are on the same team. Right. Hey, that makes a lot of sense. It's always recommended. And and all of a sudden, people at that point, when it's a recommendation, like, uh, Come on, this, this maybe so, they're kind of right. Psychology you know, 101, like, right? Yeah, exactly. Mom says, don't do this. Dad says, don't do this. What are you going to go do? Dude, I'm going to go do it. Come on, But man. when all of a sudden, Grandpa goes, look, maybe it's not the best choice. It's not the worst choice. You be the captain of your own ship here. You make your own decision. And maybe they're right. And you don't do it. But when someone's giving you that stern, do this or else, uh, there's a lot of people out there that are going to go against that. Yeah. Perfect example. Uh, Michigan. I like Michigan because I'm from Michigan. And uh, Mayor Gretchen, the Sandusky police in Michigan. Oh, issued, Sandusky. They issued a letter. And the letter said something about this whole COVID thing. And they said, listen, guys, the governor in the past uh, 90 days has issued 137 executive orders. And back to the whole problem again. There's so much yeah. disinformation. No one knows what the f*** is going on around here California probably can't follow the same exact rules and guidelines that say Alaska does right obviously there's a massive difference in population we need to talk to somebody from Alaska yeah, well I have a bunch of buddies that, that live up there call one up let's so, get them on speaker uh, they're pretty much okay. back to normal and he's like at this point I drive by the uh, one of the local pubs he goes and there's all these people out front he goes and I, I feel like just screwing with all of them and start screaming roll my windows down start screaming where's your masks you know what i mean just to see yeah they have what 12 cases 114 cases, right something. and he calls me and he's like so how's it going down there and i tell him and he's like are you kidding me there's a massive difference you cannot compare what is going on up there to what's going on down here different population set different exactly problem, right? but i wish that we could all follow one umbrella of guidelines not rules guidelines or recommendations other perfect example with this mask thing yesterday we go to tarania resort which, by the way, if you're in Southern California, Los Angeles County, I think it's the best resort on the beach. It beats all oh, Santa Monica, Redondo, 100%. all those places. Tyrannia is 100%. the nicest place. But anyways, we go to this place called Nelson's. And, you know, we're walking on the outside and we brought our masks. But I'm like, we're outside. We're not by anybody. I'm not wearing a f***ing mask. It's just not happening. Right. It's like I'm outdoor in nature with right. myself. Yeah. COVID's going to get me. Leave bizarre. me alone. Exactly. So I'm walking, you know, we get down there like, okay, fine. We're going to go to the, the restaurant and wander our way in, you know, put our masks on. They sit us at a table, take our masks off. Fine. You know, there's maybe some little logic argument there, but whatever. I'm just playing by the rules because I would like to sit down, enjoy the view, have a glass, have a nice dinner hang right. out with my wife. So then at the end of the meal, they're like, oh, you can have a glass of wine to go and you can walk around. I'm like, all right, fine. I'll get one and walk around. So then I'm leaving with my wine and I'm not wearing my mask. The manager and the hostess, right? The hostess is like, sir, sir, you have to wear your mask. You have to wear your mask. And then the manager right next no, no, it's fine. He's wearing, he, he, he has his wine. <laughs> So, <laughs> exactly. yeah. don't worry. That, I was just, I was just like laughing in my little head going like, oh, people, 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 come on. Man. I find it hilarious that now they give you wine to go, right? So we ordered sushi last weekend and the guy's like, oh, do you want a beer? I'm like, yeah, sure. I'll take a beer. Yeah. He hands me a beer and lets me walk out with it and get my car. <laughs> right? Were you in Texas? <laughs> but before all of this, you're not walking out of anywhere with an alcoholic beverage. Oh no, if you want to drink and drive, now's the time. Yeah, well, that's what I'm getting at. I love how all of a sudden everyone went bad crazy about the mask, but it's cool to just let you walk around like it's Vegas <laughs> with open containers. Not a big deal. But now all of a sudden the masks are a big deal. You're like, wait a minute. How did this all get flip flop? Yeah. So you're scratching your head on that one. But hey, I'm all good with that. I'm all cool with it. But it was just weird because I walked out and I was like, so this is cool. And he's like, oh yeah, no, go for it. So basically they're saying 
We can all we can all bend the laws currently because of the situation. Yeah, I, I mean, I heard that in Texas they're not stopping the whole uh, road sodas, right? So they're they're allowing all the restaurants and everybody. They're still selling. They're not going to stop that after this all goes away. They're not going to stop the whole. We can uh, sell you this booze to get in your vehicle and go ahead and drive with it. But then again, they have this place called Fredericksburg, which they have a drive through margarita bar. So <laughs> we have to talk to somebody from Texas there. Uh, Austin apparently shut everything down again because they really? had a big spike. I saw in the news, news headline, Austin reverts to phase one, shutting down all the bars. And that's so funny in Los Angeles, we've also shut down the bars, but restaurants are still open. Are still open. Man, I this just, is just, the, I love, it, it's it's so, it's nuts because there's no protocol. This is like when the, like, you know, they remember when the tsunami hit over there and yeah. now all of a sudden they're like, oh, we need tsunami this. We need signs everywhere. We need an evacuation route. Yeah, the signs say, be careful. You might be in tsunami land. Yeah, go this way in case of tsunami. Yeah, like, I, and it's literally just pointing up the Here's my hill. thing. If you walk into a restaurant with a mask on and then you sit down to eat and you take your mask off, um, what they, has really happened? They are recirculating air in there. Yeah, best set outside. So outside. when these people all lose their marbles about you being outside with no mask on because they all figure it's airborne, what do you think is going on when they're running the air in a restaurant? I don't know, but then I'm really curious at the airports. If you Are the restaurants at the airport closed? Because people can fly.